is something magical about Symphony Hall in Boston. This grand old building dates back to 1900. The orchestra was first started in 1881. On this day, they're dressed down for rehearsal. The Boston Symphony Orchestra was about to kick off its 143rd season. And the young man playing in the cello section there, he's the new guy. H how old are you now? I'm 23. 23, are you one of the youngsters up there? I am. I'm not the youngest, though. At 23, Rorick Cunningham is living his dream. Was this a dream of yours to make the BSO as a oh, kid? Oh, absolutely. I knew, I knew I really wanted a great orchestra job. It seems like BSO would be the most ideal considering how close to home it is. Rorick Cunningham grew up in Manchester, New Hampshire. Back in 2019, we featured the then senior at Manchester Central High School on New Hampshire Chronicle. All of my big breaks basically have been coming only the last year and a half. The then 18-year-old Rorick was a cello prodigy. How much do you love this instrument? Uh, enough to dedicate my whole life to it. Watching the old story together. That's central. Very central. Was like hopping in a music time machine. Is it weird to see yourself? It's, it's totally weird to see what four, four and a half year old ago me was <laughs> like. Rorick credits part of his success at the BSO on the teachers who guided him in New Hampshire. I loved my teacher, Harrell, at the Manchester Community Music School. He was great for me, such a nice person. And then also I had a really wonderful high school orchestra teacher, Kurt Villiard, nicest person out there. I, I couldn't imagine my high school without those two people. Harrell Gytham teaches cello here at the Manchester Community Music School, where it was another instructor who pointed out a young Rorick Cunningham. Elliot told me, you have to hear this, this kid is playing a this brilliant organ player. Back, back then, Rorick played mostly organ. Rorick was a natural at music. He eventually picked up the cello and under Harrell's tutelage, excelled. Right away, I realized that he, he really is destined to to, to great things. Rorick was winning local music competitions and playing in professional orchestras, and he was still in high school. Last we saw you, you were in the basement of Central High School in Manchester. How much has your life changed since then? God, I've just graduated college, had a, had a lot of things, new adventures. After Rorick graduated Central, he went to Juilliard in New York City, where he spent hours each day practicing his craft. At least for me, my golden average for college at least was around three hours. I think that's the same for a lot of people. It would all pay off in early 2023, where after four rounds of auditions beating out dozens of top-notch musicians, Rorick Cunningham was invited to play cello for the Boston Symphony Orchestra. You hear the name Rorick Cunningham. It, yeah, it was, it was a surreal experience. He immediately texted his teacher in New Hampshire. It's equivalent to, to someone make it to the Patriots or the, to NBA team. Rehearsing at Boston Symphony Hall, Rorick was already somewhat seasoned. He joined in the summer, just in time for a European tour, where he got a taste of life on the big stage. I remember specifically at the proms at Royal Albert Hall in London, they just kept clapping and it felt like it was going forever. We had to, we had to keep standing up because the, the applause would never end. That applause came from Manchester, New Hampshire too where that young, talented kid found a path to success through hard work and dedicated teachers. It's, it gives you a great feeling that 
It's all worth it. It's really a dream come true for so many people, and I'm so fortunate to be one of the lucky ones.